We'll start with the Mr. Dar 30 size 12 dry fly hook, Dyneema tying thread, and we'll just put our foundation of tying thread along the hook shank here, all the way back to there. Remove that and because this is a spun deer hair fly, what I do here is I put a whip finish in here just to stop anything sliding back when I spin the hair. So this is the Nervous Blonde uh, caddis fly pattern. So we take a bunch of stacked bleached elk Start at the back here. You want to flatten your tying thread so you don't cut the hair. And we go around a couple of times and then we tighten, go through the hair, forward, like so, to form a little tail. Pull everything back. And what we want to do is just trim away the butt ends of the elk. Don't worry if you leave a couple on, we can get rid of those afterwards, you don't have to be too precise here. And then another bunch, a little larger, we want to line this up with the previous. We'll go around twice again and we tighten and go through the hair. This is an excellent ser uh, searching pattern, as the name what's we got there, and then we once again strip through the surface. This uh, really attracts fish. Oh, I just. Go forward a little bit again, another bunch, all that in position, once, twice, and tighten, and go through and forward. Now I can take a packer. Very good. Take our scissors again and just trim away the butt ends on top. Excellent. Let's trim a little bit more there and get a neater finish on the last bunch. And I'll just pack that again. Very good. We finish off with a smaller bunch right on the front. Go through. And we finish her. Give it a couple of whip finishes here just to tighten things up. There we are. Then we turn it upside down. So, what we want to do now before we trim is just free the, all the hairs in case there are any trapped. Perfect. And we can take our, keep your tying thread out of the way, our trimming blade, and we just got and we 
you turn it upside down. Good, I'll just trim those off. I don't want to take too much off with the blade. I'm just here, I'm sitting a little awkward. Trim those down like that. I'll show you a little trick if you can see. There are some hairs in there that have got broken tips. These are thicker than the other hairs, so if you go in and pull them out you grip those and not the ones that come to a fine point. So, now I can take a loose blade and just make a keel on the fly. And then I spin my tying thread clockwise. I want a round profile on it now. And I go back into the hair. I can take a little bit more off there actually. That's better. Good. And once I'm in there, I can spin my tying thread anti-clockwise, so I can split it. So I'll just go in and split that. I've loaded one of the micro Petitjean clips, magic clips with natural beige light brown shall I say CDC put that in there, spin it up and then we'll wind this pulling it back as we go pull it into the head go forward Finish that. Oops. Give it one more. Take that off. And a dubbing brush again. Done. Just free up all that CDC. Before we trim off level with the body, with the underbody. Trim off these short ones. And brush the CDC through. There's a lump on that. And that is the nervous blonde. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.